Welcome to the Columbus Zoo's Asia Quest region. The amazing and diverse wildlife in Asia lives in coastal rainforests, grasslands, deserts, polar tundra, as well as the highest mountains in the world. The animals you'll see here at the zoo will give you a sneak peek into these unique environments. Let's explore how these animals survive and thrive in their habitats. We'll begin our adventure with the red-crowned crane. These beautiful birds thrive in wetland habitats and can withstand cold temperatures thanks to their thick feathers and special body adaptations. Talk about being dressed for the weather. Something unique about the red-crowned crane is in their name, Red Crown. You may notice they have a patch of red on the top of their head. The red crown is red skin, not feathers. That reminds me of a large bird you can find in Ohio, a vulture. In their native habitat, they migrate long distances each year to reach their breeding grounds. Birds in North America do the same. As you continue your journey through Asia Quest, you might find some surprising species in one place. In our mixed species habitat, a variety of animals live together. This setup mimics a natural environment and keeps animals active and engaged. It's almost like a wildlife neighborhood. These animals work together in unique ways. Inside the habitat, look up and see bats living on the ceiling. Bats may occasionally drop pieces of food that tortoises can eat. The tortoises and bats have a symbiotic relationship where the bats' behavior benefits the tortoises. The bats basically give the tortoises a free snack delivery service. When you step outside of the interpretive center, you won't want to miss the mighty Asian elephants. Asian elephants at the zoo have a special habitat with sand, water, and even hay nets. The elephant sand floor is about three feet deep. Elephants love to dig in the sand, making sleeping mounds, and they use sand to dust off their backs. This helps them stay clean and comfortable. Every day is a spa day for elephants. Here's a fact you may not know. Both male and female Asian elephants have tusks. The female tusks are very small, so you probably can't see them. How do elephants change their environment by digging, bathing, and moving around? Next, we are traveling to the eastern Himalayas in southwestern China to see a great climber, the red panda. Even though you might think they're related to giant pandas, they're closer relatives to raccoons, weasels, and skunks. These furry mammals spend a lot of time in trees, which provides them with food and a safe place where predators cannot reach them. Here at the zoo, you'll see the red pandas have access to trees, grass, rocks, water, and even air-conditioned huts. They have the ultimate treehouse setup. One interesting fact about red pandas is that their diet is 98% bamboo. That's like eating the same meal for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. As they consume bamboo, they also help spread bamboo seeds through their poop, which helps the new bamboo plants grow. Keep your eyes peeled in the Rocky Mountain terrain, you might just find a markhor. These wild goats with impressive spiraled horns are masters of mountain life. Found high in the mountains of Asia, their strong legs and hooves help them climb rocky cliffs. They often rest on the highest ledges to stay away from predators. Markhors have a special coat that helps them survive in harsh weather. In the summer, their coat is short and reddish gray, but in the winter, it becomes thicker and longer to keep them warm in the cold mountain air. It's like they have a built-in sweater they never leave home without. How do rocks and soil in the Markhor's mountainous habitat keep them safe? Looks like we've reached the end of our quest. Today we've discovered how animals use the resources from their distinct habitats. Many animals in Asia face challenges such as habitat loss and threat of extinction. The Columbus Zoo works hard on conservation projects to protect animals in this region. Thank you for watching and learning with us. 
Next time you visit AsiaQuest, be on the lookout for other animals that inhabit this diverse region. You never know what you might discover.